Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how you can lock a screen or a view behind a password in Swift UI. So what that means is that you've got your view where someone enters their password and only if they get the password correct is when you show them or reveal to them the actual real view. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'll actually go ahead and remove whatever is over here and we can add a VStack instead. There we go. For now, I'm just going to put text and I'll put main screen. And then we're going to go over here and obviously we're going to be creating our second screen in order to navigate to it. So I'm going to right click over here. I'll click on new file. I'll select Swift UI view and I'm going to click on next. We're just going to call it anything. So I'm just going to say second view, something like this. And I'll click on create. And now we've got it. So we want to present this image, this view basically. And what I want to do is, first of all, I'm just going to change this from saying hello world to saying second screen. And then let's also give it a font of large title, just so that it's big and huge. And maybe something else that I want to add is actually just add um, a color to this image, uh, sorry, to this view, just so that we can distinguish it from the other one. So we can just give it like a green background. And this is how you actually put background to a screen or to a view, done. So all we need to do is find a way to move from this view to this view once someone gives the right password. And what I'll do now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and create a button. And this button, oops, I don't know what happened. And this button will be the button that allows us to actually present the other view. So I'm just going to say two second view. Now I'm going to go over here and create a Boolean. So I'll just say at state var uh, next. And let's just put that as false. Or maybe you can put this as present second view is false now how i'm planning on presenting this second view is just by presenting like a sheet um, but you can actually change this to whatever model you're using to present a screen whether it's just presenting a sheet or actually transitioning to the other file uh, the other view it all works the same way so now i'm just going to go over here and i'm going to put dot sheet and this is not the one that i wanted sheet is presented for is presented we're gonna pass that one so press second view and then we're just gonna open a bracket here and we're gonna pass in that second view that we created earlier second view now obviously if we run this app now clicking on the button is not gonna do anything um, so what we need to do is we need to go over here and set it up so that when that button is pressed, this changes from false to true. So I'm just going to say present second view and we can just say dot toggle, which means it will just switch it to true. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and actually run this app and see what happens when we do. Okay, so you can see now that the app is running and just for your information, it is actually running on my real device right now. So I'll just do this. And you can see that right now we don't have any password. If I click to second view, it presents that second view. And like I mentioned, it can be, right now I'm presenting it as a sheet, but you can set it up to be presented in any other way and this same solution will work. So now what we want is a way that once the person puts the actual correct password or the correct keyword, whatever it is, we present this. So what I'll do now is I'll go back over here and the first thing I want to add is actually a text field. So to do this, what we can do is we can click on this plus button and we can type in text and you can either choose a secure field. For now, I'm just going to select a text field. It's basically the exact same. And we're going to go over here and we're going to put at state var password text. And I'm just going to leave it as empty. For the placeholder, I'm just going to be, I'm, I'm just going to write enter 
password and for your text what you want to do is you actually want to pass in password text just like this now what we want to do is we want to assume let's just assume for example that the password is five zeros well all you need to do to actually get make this to work is basically come over here and you're going to be writing an if statement and you're going to say if password text is equal to and then whatever password you set so let's say five zeros then we actually want this action to work now you might be asking well this is not dynamic like it's just hot coded well now that's just the missing part that let's say you're getting the password from a server or a, a database or anything like that you will just need to pass in that value over here and then just compare it to whatever the user puts and now if you actually run this app again and we'll just give it a second to build on my phone and we come over here now we've got this password and if I click on two second view you can see that it doesn't show up now if I put any random password again it's also not working however if I put five different zeros and click to second view you can see that now it is being presented and that's because it checks for the password it checks that it is correct or incorrect and then chooses to do an action afterwards thanks so much for watching this episode I know it was quick but it's definitely very important I hope that you leave a like and comment if you didn't like anything or if you would like me to improve Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.